guys, Eric here from Tactical Intelligence. Um, one of the questions that I get asked from time to time on the blog is if there is a way to create out in the bush or something a field expedient water filter. Now this is something I think what they're asking is something comparable to a Katydyne filter, uh, one of those portable, Ber portable Berkey water filters and so forth. Um, well, to be clear, there really is no way to uh, replicate the performance that you're going to get with one of those filters. Uh, out in the wild. The way to do it out in the wild to have potable water is either if you have tablets with you or some other type of cleanser, but if you really have nothing, is to boil it. Okay? Uh, but a lot of times before you get to that boiling state, what you want to do is make sure that the water is clear. Um, the, the source of water that you might have access to might be silty, it might be uh, really dirty, stinky swamp water, and that's all that you have before you can go and boil that and make it really uh, taste good, um, you want to filter it somehow. And in this video, what I'm going to show you is how you can make your own field expedient water filter. So basically, get something from murky, dirty water and have it come out clean that you can then boil out any of the biological nasties that are in there. Okay? So what you're going to need is some type of container. Okay? And here I have a two liter bottle. This I got just from my house, but you know, out in the woods I can probably walk here, like I live right near a big forest, um, I can walk out there probably a half a mile and I'll find a number of bottles similar to these, whether they're glass, um, one liter bottles, or 20 ounce soda bottles, people just leave them, you know, thrown out in the woods. And unfortunately, you'll find that throughout um, the United States and even in other parts of the world that I've gone to. Um, so you'll need some container. If you absolutely don't have access to anything like this, you can make a container out of um, tree bark, something like white pine. If you go higher up, if it's a big white pine tree, you can go higher up in the tree. The newer um, bark that's still soft, you can cut out basically a big rectangle and make a cone out of it and follow the same principle. Same goes with birch bark and, and, and a lot of other barks. Um, you can also burn out a wooden bowl, and, or I mean a wooden bowl and make a hole in it, or a, a, some type of clay vessel um, that you make and so forth. So, there's ways to do it out in the bush, and this way I'm going to show you something that a lot of people have access to that's not going to require a, a ton of skill just to create a container. So what you'll need, again, is a container, um, some charcoal. Here I have a little fire pit that I have in the back of my yard. Basically there's some charcoal left over here. You want as fresh as you can. We had, we had one last night, so it's a perfect time. Um, this is fresh charcoal. The, the more that it's left out in the elements, the the less good of a job it will do when it comes time to uh, clarifying the water. Um, also what I like to do is have some grass and some rocks. You know, the only really thing that's going to purify this water or actually um, make it filtered is the charcoal. This stuff like the grass, it does good to remove some of the bigger pieces of sediment and the rocks, what I'll, what I'll show you how I tamp it on top, that just uh, keeps everything from uh, getting disturbed underneath. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first step, what you're going to want to do is, if you have a bottle like this, is to take that bottle and open up the bottom of it. Um, hopefully, if you're stuck out in the woods somewhere, you know, you always, you should be always carrying uh, some type of knife with you anyways. Uh, definitely recommend it. Um, and also, some way to make fire. Those, those are definitely key things that you need to have with you at all times. And they're a huge advantage if you were stuck out somewhere. So, um, you take the knife. And there's actually a nice line with the two, two liter bottles, and I just use that to follow. And just cut along that line. Okay, until you have that open bottle piece here. Uh, what I also like to do is to take the top, if it has a, a cap, and just drill a tiny hole with uh, my knife here. And I'll go on the other side, just kind of open up the hole a little bit more. And put the cap back on. And um, go from there. Okay, so after so after you have your bottle um, cut out, 
and if you have a cap you put a little small hole there the next step is actually to take some of your charcoal and start to crush it down to um, pretty fine powder so you want it like kind of small pebble size to um, powder powder size and I'll just take a flat rock like this or some other flat surface and then a good um, round stone and just start to crush the charcoal okay so after you've been grinding it down for a little while and you have it's pretty powdery and you get small flakes um, you're ready to put it into the bottle so one tip that I picked up from my friends Julie and uh, Eddie over at uh, practicalprimitive.com is um, to take a piece of cloth you know this can come from the top uh, a top cut out from your sock or a t-shirt or something and, and you want to place it uh, at the bottle opening end so at the spout end and then take your charcoal and put that on top of a piece of cloth since most of us don't walk around the woods naked um, you should have some clothing on you that you could take a small piece and do this so once I have that kind of base layer I'll continue to um, crush the charcoal until I get it about halfway filled filled up so I'm just gonna go do that right now all right so we have the um, bottle about halfway filled with uh, the charcoal and it's it's pretty um, it's pretty powdery with some small kind of pebble like flakes uh, about half the size of my fingernail and uh, the next step is actually a really important step that you often find um, missing in some of the other videos online and it's no wonder that some of the water it, it comes out uh, too fast instead of it's supposed to drip out slowly and so basically what the next step what you need to do before you filter uh, filter out the water and or finish up this filter and then filter it out is to tamp it down so what I'll use is like a stick or a, a, a stone that will fit inside and just pack try to get it as packed down as possible actually what happens when doing this a lot of the bigger medium from uh, the the charcoal starts to come up top and you can actually shake it a little and it'll come up to the top as well the smaller finer stuff will settle to the bottom and this just helps to pack it in real nicely so I'll continually pack it until it's um, pretty solid at the bottom here you can even use your hand and just press it down so after you've packed it in pretty tightly um, you don't want when if you pour the water in that this gets disturbed the the charcoal bed here so what I'll do, you can either take a piece of fabric again or some uh, dry grasses. And this dry grass will also work at the very bottom. And just pack it on top. Again, try to push down. A little bit more. And then, just to kind of hold everything in place, the rocks pretty much don't do anything as far as filtering, but they act really good to hold everything in place to keep some weight on that uh, charcoal so the, really the filter element is this charcoal layer at the bottom and I'll give it some final pushes and there you have it this is your filter so um, I'm gonna demonstrate how this works but basically what you're gonna notice is that as you pour the really dirty water inside it's gonna come out uh, a little it'll come out cleaner than the original but it's still be a little bit dirty and some of that it picks up from the filter it hasn't completely um, got everything washed out of it as well so um, then you'll just take that same water pour it in the top and you'll do it about two or three times usually by the um, second or third time um, it, it comes out pretty clear and, and so I'll demonstrate that all right so I went down to a nearby uh, stagnant um, piece of water and, and got this really murky uh, sediment filled uh, pri probably lots of little nasties in there um, this water and so 
that's really what it comes down to. A lot of people say, well, I'll just boil my water when I get out uh, in the bush, if I'm caught out there. If you boil this, it's not going to be very nice to drink. It's probably not going to taste very good. Um, and it's just not going to be nice and clear and clean water. So that's where a filter like this comes into play. So let's see how this thing works out. Again, just to kind of give you a heads up, you know, the first couple times it's going to it's going to get progressively cleaner, but the first couple times it's still going to be not quite clear. But about the third time we'll see that it's nice and clear. So Okay, so as you can see, it's not coming pouring out. If your filter, if it starts dripping out pretty fast at this point, then you didn't pack it down enough, um, or the pieces weren't small enough. So you want a mixture again between powder and like half of a uh, pinky nail size of, of charcoal pieces. You really pack it in. And then we'll let this thing go to work, and then um, we'll see how it does. So after it goes through this bit of water, I'm gonna go and pour it through again, I'll show you. All right, guys. So it is starting to filter. You can s see the slow drip. This is kind of the, the drip um, speed that you want. If it comes out dripping really fast, then it's not probably packed down enough, your charcoal. Uh, if it comes pouring out, then it's definitely not. So go back to start packing it down. All right, so it, it is just about done uh, for the first round. If you can see, it's actually pretty clear. Um, it does have a slight yellow tinge that you might not be able to see. So I'm gonna pour it through. Uh, at least one more time. So usually this will be done again uh, two or three times. So slowly pour it through the top again. All right guys, so we're just about done uh, with that second pour through. It's still dripping a little bit, but I just wanted to show you the difference. So you can see actually that yellow tint, it's a lot better the second round. There's a slight, slight yellow tint right now. Uh, if I poured it in one more time, that would likely go. So, but this is ready to drink. Again, just to show you the comparison, you know, which one would you rather boil and drink, this or this? So again, boiling's great, and most people know about the boiling method. Uh, but if you're getting it from stagnant, dirty water, uh, you're going to want to filter it first. And this is an excellent filter that you can use and apply uh, to somewhere out in the bush, even in an ur urban setting. Um, so give it a try. Let me know in the comments what you, what you think. And if you've done something similar or have other ideas, let me know. Uh, I'm always wanting to learn new things and, and grow and develop in, in this space. So uh, thanks again for watching this and uh, until next time.